Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 animation series. In today's video we are going to be taking a deeper look at blend spaces inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now in the last video we explained what a blend space is and we also set up a 1D blend space. What we're going to be doing in today's video is showing you how to work with the second of those two which is the regular blend space which has two axes. And we're also going to be looking at some of the different settings that we can adjust to make things a little bit smoother and just give you a bit more detail about blend spaces. So what we're going to do, just like we did in the last video, we're going to right click and create ourselves a blend space. So right click, go to animation, and then this time, instead of creating a blend space 1D, create a blend space 3D, which is gonna have the two uh, sort of axes on there. So from here, once again, we need to choose the skeletal mesh that we're gonna be using. Once again, we're gonna be working with the animations and the character from the animation starter pack. So just make sure that when you hover over it, it does say it's part of the animation starter pack give us the name test bs just like that and then open it up and then from here we're just going to get cracking and showing you how you can work with this now you'll notice this time we have got two axes so we've got a horizontal axis at the bottom and we've also got a vertical axis as well and once again we can control these in the asset details panel on the left hand side you've got your horizontal and your vertical the first one I'm going to use is going to be our direction. The second one is going to be our speed. And with this, you can see they've now changed the names on these two axes, both horizontally and vertically. Once again, we need to set up the minimum and the maximum values. So starting off with the speed, that's always going to be 0 to 600 with the default character. Now, if you've set up your character movement to move quicker than that, then, you know, work with that. You'll know what that number is. For our direction, uh, the maximum sort of that we are going to be able to turn is from minus 180 to 180. And now what we should be able to do is have our speed on the left hand side. So as we go up, it's going to move faster and as we go down, it's going to go slower. And then we've got left and we've got right and so on from here. Now, as for plotting on this stuff into your blend space, it is exactly the same as a 1D version. So having said that, what we need to do is just go ahead and grab our walk forward ones. So first things first, get your walk forward and sort of just drag it as that is going to be our sort of forward direction. We also need to have our idle and our idle needs to be at zero for speed. So check where your zero is, it should be right at the bottom. As they go up, they're gonna start walking and then find ourselves a jog forwards with the rifle, which should go up to about 300. So now if I press shift, and move up as he gets faster he's starting to jog and then all the way at 600 I'm gonna see if I can get a sprint animation and move that up to 600 so stopped he's not moving he's walking jogging and then he's sprinting all the way over there what you can do is if you know how your direction stuff is going to be set up going from your axes from 180 to 180 you can plot these on here as well and what you might find you have as part of your animations in here is you're going to have some walk left animations, walk right animations, and you can just plug these in straight away. So let me see if we've got any. If not, it's not too much of an issue as you will be able to work with this. So what I'm going to do is find my regular run stuff. So walk, what we've got here, you can see we've got left and we've got right. So let's just see if we can find some without the iron sights. If not, it's not too much of an issue. Nope, so what I'll do is left. So if the direction is minus 180, he's walking left. If it's 180, he's gonna be walking right. And as you can see now, as we go from one direction to the other, the character is gonna start moving in a different direction. And all you've gotta do is just continue to plug these in so left on the left side right on the right side going from idle or you're walking 
which should actually be over here and then just sort of moving it around just play around with these positions but essentially what you want to do is just get the direction get the speed and just place it accordingly now one thing that you do need to keep in mind is that if you want more little spots on this grid it's quite easy to change that so if you want more direction spots for whatever reason just go up to number of grid divisions and you can increase this from four to something else same goes for speed you can do that as well but hopefully you guys are starting to see how this is working so at zero all along there they shouldn't really be moving and then as they start to walk you can see it's going up and our player can move in the different directions and it's looking really really nice anyway guys that is pretty much everything that i wanted to show you for a blend space 3d hope you guys have enjoyed it so far and in the next few videos we're going to be showing you how you can hook this up to an animation blueprint so that you can start to put this into your game once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy vertus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.